position this camera. First time at Le Mans ever. Been here all of five minutes. I'm here with Aston Martin. I am sat in Aston Martin GTE that has currently just taken pole position in qualifying. These guys are going to be leading the race at the very start. And in a minute, we're going to be talking with Darren to find out what's what. But check it out. I'm in. I'm in the car, man. This <laughs> is ridiculous. I've got to be careful with it because everything in here is so tight but it should give you a real good feeling of what it's like to be inside one of these cars it is just a letterbox of vision it's so tight uh, there is a, a rear view mirror in here but during the race it's also hectic that this is actually a rear view screen I mean these cars are absolutely supreme and Aston have just let me jump in this to do the intro to this fantastic day what a what a privilege and this is what I love about this platform the fact that I can bring you guys first hand inside the uh, Aston Martin that's on pole it's also crazy for me to think that cars like this are also on the track at the same time as LMP1 cars the difference in speed and levels of downforce are just crazy so I'm gonna speak with Darren because I'm fascinated about that like what it's like when you're racing with so many different classes during one race but, uh, yeah I can't believe I'm actually sat in this thing I'm in a, a Le Mans car guys and look at the steering wheel they've been told uh, not to tweak any buttons because obviously their setup right now is pretty important but just to put my hand on this wheel the Aston GTE that's just set pole for Le Mans 24 hours 2017 what a privilege this is the kind of stuff I love that you might not see on TV these are the kind of tolerances these things run they have to pump boiling water around the engine because the tolerances on the engine are so tight that it won't even start up so they pump boiling water all around the engine makes the components expand to the optimum spacing and then they can actually start the car it just shows how finely engineered these things are to be around and to be here firsthand experiencing this is such a special experience first time at Le Mans and this is happening You've just managed to get pole. How does that feel being in such an iconic race? It's nice to be at the shop end, yeah. um, but it, you know, for any 24 hour race, qualifying isn't so important. It's sure. a good feeling for the team, yeah. everyone has to mind racing, and it's nice to get an advantage on the uh, yeah. pole position. But in reality, will it really make any difference over 24 hours? Yeah. Probably not. But it does mean we're we're there with the car on performance sure. and we're competitive. Amazing. So over 24 hours, what would you say is your biggest challenge really? But now, right now. Right so, now. Yeah, less than two hours to go for the start. The temperature's rising, the pressure obviously building, uh, the grandstands are filling up and uh, uh, in, in less than two hours uh, it's going to go green and we've got to get, get our head down and uh, hopefully get a couple of hours under our belt, let the race settle down, yeah. be in a good position, sure. no damage with the car because that's the biggest thing you're worried about, the first couple of laps. The whole field is bunched up and things can happen that you're not in control of. So our main thing is to make sure we get the two hours out of the way and we can go from there. What's it like racing with so many different classes on the same circuit? It's part of the World Endurance Championship, I'm used to it. Obviously this race there's more cars on the yeah. grid. Um, the speed differential on the Molsan straight is quite, yeah. quite big. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's, it must be 40, maybe 50 kilometers now. Wow. Okay. Um, so it's difficult to manage the traffic offside, the GT yeah. cars and obviously the guys driving the LMP1 cars as well and LMP2 cars. But that's part of sports car racing. Yeah, traffic management is all about being successful and, yeah. and uh, you know, dealing with all conditions. I mean, it looks like we're going to have a completely dry race, yeah. but going through the night, traffic sure. evolving, the management of traffic is, is what makes 24 hour racing yeah. so special. Well, mate, good luck. Thank Pleasure you. to meet you. Cheers. Thanks Thank a lot. Again. Right. What a top dude. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah. For me, I'm just so super fascinated as to what it's like being in and amongst so many different types of cars. <laughs>
tell you, the Aston Martin hospitality is amazing. Look at the location, we are right track side. You can eat, dine and drink right on the track side. And look how lovely it is. Super laid it out with all this nice grass. So cool. Back inside for a moment. Wait till you see upstairs. Check this out. And this, this, this venue, by the way, is a hospitality suite. This is just to watch the race. Look at that. I mean, no, that has to be a 150-inch TV screen. There's all of these. This is cool. Bean bags. So everyone can just chill out. Go to the bar. Grab some nice food. Really, what a fabulous place to watch the race because not only can you watch the race here and enjoy it. But you've got the sounds of the real cars happening outside. I don't know if it gets much better than that, but pretty cool. It's kids entertainment. And then here's the uh, the upper deck. If you're really keen, every now and again someone grabs a chair, stands right over there and gets a really big view. So yeah, great place to watch it from. Look at this. I mean, you've got one of the best views in the house here. thing very similar to the GT12 so as a package rare and customizable to a, a level that would make it really really special look at that trim in there neon trim neon piping on the seats and manual win all around and if, if anyone's ever heard one of these they are one of the best sounding cars they're borderline obnoxious but guaranteed to put a massive smile on your face you can't beat a naturally aspirated v12 and these are sort of have this old school barble about them so yeah really great that aston are making cars like this
seem like a big deal because I'm just eating soup but it's much more about where I'm eating it and the situations you find yourself in during Le Mans. I'm sat outside the straight here. Safety cars currently out. They've been doing several laps so the, all the cars have been going, going past slower than normal so you get a real good look at them. It's dark now. This is what I'm getting while I'm eating my croutons and soup. Super I ever had. Hi, we're the Aston Martin Race Band. Thank you for tonight. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>